Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage video where today from my mate Tony across the pond he did mention a while ago now um, that he was going to send something or even that he might have sent it but that was I don't know, that was weeks ago so unless this one has just really taken that long but uh, as Tony knows, he's already sent, I think this is probably, I want to say third or maybe even fourth uh, package. Oh, wait a minute, it's over here. Uh, date of mailing, the 16th. Oh, that's only 10 days ago. Um, I must admit, every day to me merges into each other. Uh, but yeah, value of a pound or one dollar rather. And it just means that I don't kind of have to muck around with any UK customs and uh, handling. Uh, let me, in case there's, there might be a letter in here. Uh, uh, let me turn this around because it does have Tony's address on that part. Strangely, when they come across, it comes, puts me in, even though it's got my correct postcode it puts me in Lancaster Lancashire which is about I don't know 250 maybe 300 miles away uh, from where I actually live so maybe that's why it takes a little bit longer um, I can remember actually it done that on the last time so anyway here we go first things first oh look at that look a big old hundred dollars. That I'm going to put on my wall just because I think it's cool. You know, with all my other uh, Americana. Uh, hey Rob, here's some goodies. Uh, enclosed is two king size tanks by Matchbox. I think they make contact. Uh, also Corgi Capri. Very cool. Uh, it would uh, it would be great if uh, we could make it into um, what's that? A Profess Nations TV car? Spelling sucks. Um, maybe the professionals? I'm not too sure. I'll have to uh, have a little look. But uh, thanks, Tony. And thanks, Tony. Uh, let's see what we have. So, some good old Amazon packaging. So, first up, oh, that's a little sweet little thing. Special edition, a Maisto. I don't have any Maisto. Um, I guess this is, these are more modern things, but certainly for collectors, you know, it's in obviously brand new, unplayed with condition. And I shall be keeping that with my boxed up stuffs. Just trying to find a home for it. So. Oh, look at that, look. a little bit of a wheel damage on this one. So this is a Siva Spider. Good condition, other than the wheels. I'm not really all about this kind of decal stuff, but, you know, um, a new paint job. Some bit more suitable wheels, and I think that'll look pretty cool. Ah, oh, one of these cars of yesteryear. So 1907 Rolls Royce, missing the back seat there unfortunately. I've probably got 10, 15 of these and they're always missing their seats. Which is a real bummer. Oh, look at this one. This one needs to be restored, eh? Ah, it's a shame it's missing its um, windscreen there. Hopefully I can pick it up, but Noddy's car, Corgi, made in Great Britain. Everything is there. Little Noddy himself. I don't know whether he's asleep there, but that you know that'd be interesting. I think for a little restoration, wouldn't it? Certainly different to what I've done before. This is cool. So a Hot Wheels hair splitter, made in Hong Kong. Plastic 
hood um, or bonnet to me. Well, that appears to be a Mark I Golf, or what at least what I call a Golf. Um, the reason that, well, that's his hair splitter. Of course, I think these Mark I Golfs in the US were called the Rabbit. And that kind of, the fact that this is on top, unfortunately it looks like it's missing a spotlight here. But this has certainly gone into my kind of top however many, my top however many favourite cars. That is wonderful. Oh, this is in good condition. Wow. So this is a fantastic. I've got a few of these, certainly not in this condition. Um, this is in wonderful condition with the decal on the front there. I've got a couple of these without an engine and a couple with an engine, like a grossly over, you know, you would never see out through the window uh, kind of size engine on there. Um, I guess this is a Mustang, um, kind of early 70s Mustang, I'm going to guess, 1971, 1972 style, but as a as a van, um, very interesting. I'm unsure whether this was a re ever a real car. My guess is that perhaps it was. It made it to like some motor shows, but never really kind of hit the production. But that's going to go into my show cabinet. So here we have another lovely condition Roller Matics number 35 Fandango and I've got a few of these to be fair I've got kind of red with a white interior I've got white with a red interior uh, this one is certainly in the best condition of all the ones that I've got I've probably got five or six others um, if you have a look at the top of the engine there I'm not sure it's the tabs oh, the tab is there uh, it's not working it seems to have kind of frozen hmm. maybe a little bit of something needs to be working on there because it'll be a shame to take it apart it's in such good condition oh okay so it's a McDonald's but it's a modern it is matchbox isn't it yeah, Matchbox Across America 50 Birthday Series International Pumper Toy Vehicle with Illinois um, License Plate Very cool It's the kind of thing that you want to keep in the package, that one This is a big one Wow So we've got a Tonka made in the USA. Look at that look, nice, nice bit of rust. These Tonkas, they look so much better with uh, that bit of rust on there, or at least before you start to restore them anyway. Now I've got a couple of the larger scale Tonkas, and I don't know whether it's really for kind of us in our sector to restore these. You see these restoration channels with billions of views and what they do is they take these apart they're silent they kind of do the whole slow thing um, and what is it they do they they uh, kind of shot blast this and then powder coat it all and it all comes up looking brand new no one kind of in our real sector of die cast you know the smaller die cast restorers dedicated die cast restorers have really done these um, I think they've been too big but this one's quite a nice size that I think I could do um, I guess the test would be whether it would fit into my foot long hot dog jar and it doesn't quite but that's just because the wheels are there without those wheels it would so let me know if you want to see that one restored I think I could buff that out nice coat of white paint get that looking pretty nice and would be the first Tonka on my channel. <clears throat> and when there's one, there's a second one. Is that the same? 
So yeah, it's the same car. All right, so it's got a different underside. Maybe they're from different years. This one feels like it's newer. Um, not just because it's in better condition, but the glass seems to be kind of like a different shade. The obviously the interior, the old old style metal one is reminiscent of an older one, perhaps. And this one's in good clean condition that you know doesn't need to be restored. So it'd be nice to have perhaps one restored one next to one original one. Anyway. Camo colours. Oh wicked. So we've got some spray paint here. Camo dark tan. Oh testers. So I have we don't get testers in the UK. And so therefore I've never used it. Um that'll be really interesting to use, and it's almost just a couple of days late. Because I perhaps could have painted this uh, husky in this colour. Um, of course, I've got thousands of other cars that I can still choose. Mm. Oh, so it's part of Rustoleum. I've used Rustoleum before. Very cool, very cool. I like it how these are all like bagged up. So this is an alpha, and not only is the glass in good condition, but the back is here. And this one, I've got a couple of others that are either missing the back or broken windscreen. And between the lot of them, maybe using this one as spares, you know, to restore this one, it's not going to be as interesting to restore one that's been absolutely annihilated and I could take these parts in and eventually I'll have one really nice car. This one's cool. So this is what uh, Tony mentioned, the Full Capri uh, Corgi Juniors Whiz Wheels. And I'm guessing this was a police car. Of course, this was kind of like the UK's Mustang, I guess. And you guys in America also had the Capri, but you didn't have it as a Ford. You had it as... Um, can't remember. It's escaped me. It's escaped me. You're probably shouting at the screen going, it was this, it was this. Um... You'll have to comment down below to remind me. But yeah, we have this as a full Capri. So this in the style of the Mark 1. I think this would be a Mark 1 Capri. Um, but yeah, super cool. Super cool. It's another Hot Wheels. So I haven't got many Hot Wheels, like any with, like with any age. Um, this one just says Hot Wheels Hong Kong 1979. That is really cool. That's a wicked design with some nice wheels and a wicked paint job. I do very much like that. Unsure what car that is or would have been. I'm going to guess something from the early 30s. Maybe the twenties, but yeah, that is nice. Right, where is my knife? Oh. So Tony mentioned this one um, in the letter. This is a Matchbox Battle Kings. I never knew this existed. Um, K102 M48 A2, 1974. It's, I guess, missing the tracks here, as most of them are. The fact that this, though, you know, this flimsy kind of 
um, cannon um, is still in place. You got the little fella there. Um, I don't think it's a very appropriate color. It seems to be like a it's a nice color green. It's like a, a beautiful metallic green. But for the army, you know, this needs to be, I guess, in this kind of color. <laughs> but uh, very cool. Um, I myself, being ex-military, was a tank mechanic. So these are of extra interest to me. Wow. So this one is a Sherman. Of course, good old British Sherman tanks. This guy has lost his head. And this one's in more appropriate colours. So you got the kind of uh, camo going on there. But with the uh, USA decal on the side. I'm guessing you guys in the US didn't use Sherman tanks. Um, I could be wrong. 1974, it's got some good weight to that one. Very cool. What is this beast? Made in England. Matchbox Speed Kings, say K5053. Oh, that's different, isn't it? Fire Chief. Can you imagine the Fire Chief turning up with this car? Of course, it's uh, missing part of the window frame there. And I'm assuming maybe not. They didn't have any glass there. Got some cool detail in the boot section. That's definitely different, isn't it? That would be pretty cool. Done it. Very well packed, Tony. These are. I'm uh, really trying my hardest not to cut my own fingers off. Wow. The suspense, eh, guys? The suspense. Let's start with this one. Look at this. This looks brand new. What a beauty. This actually looks like the very car that I got married in. I wonder if you can see me there. Hello, 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 hello. Um, this is a Corgi 1937 Rolls Royce. I got married in a 1937 Rolls Royce. Uh, our, uh, our car had uh, the kind of full roof and it was in white, uh, full white. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the same. What a beautiful car. It cost me an absolute fortune to have it for all of 10 minutes, but still, very worth it. And we've got the pictures as memories. Uh, motorway ambulance, a corgi. That's a funky looking thing. Accident there. Very interesting, very different. So certainly some uh, larger scale stuff here today. Look at the state of this. This looks like an old Bedford to me, or perhaps in the US. I think you had the same shape as a GMC. Look at that paint, though. The glass is intact. I can always replace the wheels. This is a Dinky Toys Bedford. There you go. I could tell even through all of that paint that this was a Bedford. Um, yeah, this one needs restoring, eh? It's just being kept together with some sellotape. Well, I say that, it's, not, it's actually just disintegrated now, but originally red, could have been a post, perhaps like a, a postal van, but yeah, I like that one. And then, let's get rid of this box. See what we got in this little jar. 
this so far. Things that I've I certainly haven't seen that one. What's that? It's an Ertl. Come on. Oh, we've got some paints. That is really handy. Well, oh, that's in good condition. I think this is to try and take on my foot long hot dog jar. But, uh, yeah, it's just not the same. What paints have we got? Oh, right, so we've got some enamels, and off the top of my head, I certainly don't have these two. May have this one, but very nice to have some paint, so thank you, Tony, for those. goes with something um, so these are the super coopers and I've got a few of these don't think they're in pink and they certainly don't have the uh, flower on top so these are quite nice to have as a pair I've got one of these which is in really good condition so this one's quite nice to maybe restore one day this one Corvette so this is a later, claims to be 1979, but I know this is going to be a much later version. Quite lightweight with a plastic base, which I haven't seen before. And I have customised one of these. Although mine was a T-top, I think. Ah, this is cool. So this is the big blue. If I turn around... So I've got the, what is this, this is the dragon wheels I think, let me just pull that back in. So we've got dragon wheels number 43 and beetle streaker. So otherwise same casting but separate race cars. This They've got slightly different wheels. so. I'm going to guess this is a slightly earlier one than this one, but uh, yeah, and neither of them are very good rollers anymore, but I think that will make quite the pair of race cars one day. This is really interesting though. Um, oh, there's the lid to that jar. I will use that for bits. Unsure what that jar was used for. Perhaps peanuts or something like that. Light snacks. Um, anyway, this is a <laughs> this is a Ford 50 replica. Um, so this is not a real Ford 50. This is a replica. Um, so even from the factory lot, they were struggling with uh, the old paint going underneath, as we all do today. But what a beautiful design car unfortunately we're kind of broken off a piece here which is a bit of a shame but otherwise a very nice car but anyway um, oh did we find out I'm gonna guess it's for this must be eh? I'm not convinced I'm not convinced. Let me know down in the comments if it is. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks again, Tony. Um, it means a huge uh, deal for you to send these over. I know you've got so many cars, and obviously you send them all over the world um, to us, uh, die-cast kind of creators. And uh, we're all obviously very thankful. Um, but yeah, you know, this has been, a, I think, the third or fourth time. I, I know I've sent you a couple of little bits in the past. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have to send you some more. Um, let me know, actually. You've got your uh, contact on my um, Facebook. Let me know if there's anything that I've done recently that you've taken a fancy to. And I'll, uh, I'll get it across to you, mate. But um, anyway... And thanks for everybody else. Of course, it's uh, watch through this one. It's been a long video, 
and uh, hopefully there's some bits there that you think you know I should be customizing or restoring I'd like to hear all of your opinions and I shall see you on the next video